Little did the miners know what fate would deal them on that fatal day of Saturday, November 13, 1909. All the work here would be halted for almost a year as the mining town tried to recover from the disaster which would turn happy lives upside down and forever change them in the whole mining industry. On that Saturday of November 13th, six bales of hay loaded upright in a mine car was destined for the third vein mule stable and was taken by a young man down the main shaft and carelessly pushed to an area by the air shaft which had another cage to take it down to the third vein. The mine car was left under a dripping kerosene torch which were used throughout the mine to temporarily replace the electric lighting that burnt out due to a short in the wiring two weeks previous. The kerosene dripped onto the hay and a spark eventually ignited the fire that would quickly turn into an inferno. The raging fire was fueled by the forceful air current coming down the air shaft which provided the fresh air for the men below. Word spread throughout the mine for other miners to get out and word also spread through the town and people rushed hastily toward the mine to see about the safety of their loved ones and friends. Curiosity seekers also came and concerned citizens from neighboring towns. Photographers and news reporters also rushed to the scene to capture the moment. Important decisions had to be made in seconds to save lives and one decision which seemed wise at first became very fatal. 